All right, welcome back. This is the second lecture for Unit 2 of English, sorry, Unit 12 of, of English 2. We are going to uh, continue uh, with the language that we studied in the first lecture, okay, uh, the present perfect progressive. And uh, we're also going to be looking at some speaking strategies, okay? Now, this is the last unit of the freshman courses. So uh, your next unit will be, or your next uh, level after you pass English 2 will be the, uh, will be English 3. And when you get there, you'll be doing a lot more speaking with partners and classmates and uh, some strategies in continuing to speak will be important. So in this unit, we're going to look at some of those speaking strategies. Let's begin on page 94 at the top, the speaking to activity, okay? Um, now this activity, you're basically going to ask a lot of questions to a partner uh, and answer a lot, okay? So what I want you to do right now, I want you to uh, look at the activities that are listed here. You're going to, uh, in activity number one, you're going to talk about, we're going to uh, reflect on your own actions, okay? So check how often you have recently been doing these activities in the chart. Okay, so recently, okay, so yo Jimin, uh, these days, um, have you been listening to music? Okay, for example, um, for me, I would probably say once in a while. Okay. Uh, have you been playing phone games? Okay, uh, for me, not at all. Okay, for you, they might have different answers. <laughs> Maybe these are things you do all the time. Okay, but of course, this is things that you do very often, always. Okay and maybe something that you do uh, rarely or never. It's maybe not something you do these days, okay? Um, and here, of course, we're thinking of sometimes. So always, uh, sometimes, and seldom, or rarely, or almost never, okay? The activities are listed here. I think probably most of them you know, listening to music, playing phone games, watching TV, uh, playing sports, shopping, specifically for clothing, clothes, uh, spending time with friends, okay? Just hanging out, okay? Um, doing homework or enjoying time outdoors, okay? So these activities you've done recently, like maybe this, semester. Okay. Good. All right. I'll let you check these off. And when you're finished, we will resume. All right. So these are my answers uh, for number one. As you can see, I, <laughs> I have not been very busy. Uh, I've seemed to be watching a lot of TV. Um, and some of these uh, social activities I have not been doing. Okay, good enough. We're going to ask and answer questions uh, based on these. So a lot of them, because you're asking one other person, the questions deal with have you. So have you been, and then the verb, in the ing form, okay, as is listed here. Um, so each of these actions are listed, and you could use the phrase uh, lately, or as it says in the uh, instructions, recently. Both kind of the same meaning. Uh, so have you been listening to music lately? Uh, yeah, once in a while. I've been listening to music once in a while. Have you been playing phone games lately? No, I haven't been playing phone games at all. Uh, have you been watching TV shows recently? Yes, I've been watching TV shows all the time. Have you been playing sports lately? 
No, I haven't been playing sports at all. Okay, so you can see my answers there, and you can see the structure here as well. Notice here uh, for not at all. Okay, it's just one phrase, just like all the time is one phrase. It's basically one lexical phrase. Um, I could have said, yes, I've uh, always been playing phone games. That sounds a bit unusual. Okay. Or I always play um, phone games. So that would be a change in tense to do that. So when you're talking about your recent activities, this um, you're talking about the recent time. So all the recent time. So we use it as one phrase, but note here, not at all. When I'm using it, of course, as a negative answer, so I'm answering no. I have not been listening to music at all. So that would be uh, split up. Uh, no, I have not at all been listening to music. Uh, sounds unusual. Not a deal breaker. I guess you could speak. Uh, but we never say something like, uh, no, I have been listening to music not at all. That that sound I, that can't be done so in using this um this phrase not at all uh you the only time you could use it in one piece is if you use it as an incomplete sentence notice have you been listening to music lately not at all okay so that would be uh, an appropriate answer for the interest of practicing grammar we have a complete sentence, but in uh, conversation, have you been shopping for clothes lately? Not at all. Have you been playing phone games? Uh, not at all. Have you been watching TV shows? All the time. I do nothing but watch TV shows. Okay. Hmm? All right. So I think we'll leave it at that. You can uh, practice this and answer questions on your own or with a partner just to see what they have been doing lately. Okay, okay so that, fin that finishes uh, the second speaking activity. We're going to go to the third speaking activity. But first, we're going to look at some language. Okay, So what we're going to do in practice one or self-practice one, we're going to content, we're going to um, continue conversations okay, by asking uh, for more information. So in this activity in uh, speaking task two, we asked a question, we got an answer, we're done. In self-practice one, we're going to look at uh, some different ways to ask questions. Okay. And or some different ways to get more information, okay? And that's by asking a follow-up question. So in number one here, or in the example here, we're talking about Cindy. Cindy is working at a clothes store, okay? That's the information we get. That's the statement, okay? Okay, next, how long has she been working at a clothes store, or at the clothes store? Mm. Okay, we know it's closed store we just talked about. There we go. Okay. So how long has she been working at the clothes store? Okay. Or how long has she been working there? Okay. So this is a follow-up question. Okay. So we've received this information. Good. You know who works at the clothes store, you know where Cindy works, and we know uh, the activity uh, there. Generally, she's working. Okay, so um, so we've created a follow-up question. We're looking for more information. Okay, try it with number one. Jim is studying. Uh, sorry, Jim is studying Spanish. Okay? That's what Jim is doing these days. Okay, all right. Oh, is he? That's very interesting about Jim. Okay, how long has he been studying Spanish? Okay, so we have the whole activity here. How long has he been studying Spanish? Okay, because he's doing it now, and he started sometime in the past. Okay, 
So that's your follow-up question. Oh, Jim is studying Spanish? How interesting. How long has he been studying Spanish? Oh, where is he studying Spanish? Who is he studying Spanish with? These are follow-up questions. We're just going to write one based on how long. Okay. So you can do the same for these other statements here. You've got seven statements, and you can write out the follow-up question. They give you the uh, interrogative as a prompt, and you can create the um, you can create the questions afterwards. Okay. So the subject pronoun for friends, they. John is a he, Alice is a she, uh, Rick is a he, Nancy is a she, of course, co-workers are they. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, pause the track. When you're finished, we will review. Okay. Let's look at our answers. Here are my answers. Um, so number one, we did as a group on the main page, Jim is studying English. Uh, how long? How long has he been studying? Sorry, how long has he been studying Spanish? Jim is studying Spanish. How long has he been studying Spanish? It looks like I got that one correct. Uh, now, <laughs> I may get some of these wrong, but we're going to look at some of my uh, mistakes uh, if there are any. Let's skip down to number six. Uh, it's another how long question. Uh, Rick is saving money for a car. Okay, so Rick wants to buy a car. He's saving money. He's not spending money. He's saving it in his bank. Now, how long has this been going on? How long has he been saving money for a car? Okay, so has he been saving it for one month, uh, one year? Okay, and there we go. Right, so we have that. So that's something that's been going on. It started in the past, and it's happening right now. Okay, so if you've been saving money, I understand that's something that has been going on for a long time. Number four, Alice is volunteering at an orphanage. Okay, to me, a volunteer activity is something that happens over a long time. So again, how long has she been volunteering at the orphanage? Now, I might get this one wrong. I use the word the. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I still think the is correct. Because... We know the orphanage that she volunteers at. Okay, so we it's been specified. So it's a. Um, all right, so we've probably used the word the. It's a definite uh, article. Uh, the is a definite article. Now, at number two, your friends are cooking. Okay, so when I see this sentence. That's something that sounds like they're doing right now. So this sounds like the uh, present perfect simple. Okay, so it's happening now. So your friends are cooking. What are they cooking? Is this correct? No. Uh, I think I'm supposed to say... Oops. What have they been cooking? Okay. Um... So probably the question or the statement should be, your friends have been cooking recently. Okay. So your friends are cooking sounds like something that's happening right now. So what are they cooking would be the correct answer. Same thing with here. John is traveling. Oh, okay. Where is he traveling? Okay. So where is he going to? Okay. So it sounds like it's something he's doing right now. Okay. It doesn't sound like it's something he's doing over time, so this should be correct, um, but I think they want me to practice the grammar that we've been studying. Okay, so, so this is basically a grammar exercise and not a comprehension exercise. Your coworkers are staying late at work. Now? recently so this one's a bit vague the two and three sounds like something he's doing right now this one i'm not sure 
Is it something they're doing right now? They're staying late at work? Or is it something recently, uh, generally now, um, uh, recently or lately? Uh, uh, why are they staying late at work? Let's see. Let's Why have they been staying late at work recently? Okay, looks like it's correct too. I don't know why the circle's up there. Nancy is working out at the gym. How often does she work out at the gym? This must be correct. Um, what? So I guess, I guess this could also be in the uh, present perfect progressive. How often has she been working out at the gym? Um, but this is a much more common question. Even if she's doing it recently or she's doing it right now, I think the question is this. And okay. So now these are apparently all correct, but I think my original answers were better. It's so this is kind of the difference between the two grammars. Okay, uh, your friends are cooking. Uh, looking at that example, okay, looking at the example here, uh, Nancy is working out at the gym. It sounds like something that is happening right now. Um, if it's something that's happening generally or lately or recently Nancy has been working out at the gym how often has she been working out at the gym okay so this this is a, a present continuous tense it sounds like she's something she's doing right now so these statements can uh, are not communicating on their own in a context you'll be able to figure them out anyway you have created new sentences. You've created new questions, follow-up questions. Jim is studying Spanish. How long has he been studying Spanish? Okay. Uh, Alice is volunteering at an orphanage. How long has she been doing that? How long? So we're trying to find out more information. Okay. We know what she's doing, where she's doing it. We know who's doing it. But we're finding out more information. We're going to do that back on page 94. Um, at the bottom of page 94, uh, we're looking at an activity that might be a, a good follow-up to here. Now that we've written some follow-up questions, you can use them in conversation. Okay. Have you been listening to music lately? No, I haven't been listening to music at all. Okay. Okay. Um, so you could ask a follow-up. Well, usually, what kind of music do you like? Um, so a person might answer that. Oh, I love hip hop. Okay. So that might be a good follow up question there. So in the example here, uh, it, it seems to uh, suppose a positive answer. Have you been listening to music lately? Yes, I've been listening to music all the time. Okay. What kind of music have you been listening to? Oh, I love roots music. Then what happens? After he answers the question, he puts it right back to you. Ooh, what about you? So the subject changes. Enough about me, enough about my taste in music, enough about my favorite kind of music. What about you? What is What kind of music have you been listening to? Okay. So that would be a, um, again, you're continuing the conversation not by changing the subject, not by extending the information uh, we know about you, but you're turning the focus to the other person. Okay, and you can see that in other examples. What phone games have you been playing? Okay, have you been playing many phone games lately? Yes, I've been playing them all the time. Okay. What phone games have you been playing? Oh, I'm into what's this? Minecraft? I don't know. Okay. Uh, have you tried it? Okay. So in this case, you're focusing on the object. Okay. So before, instead of changing the subject, what about you? Okay. You're talking about the answer. Okay. I've been playing Minecraft 
what about you? Have you played it? Have you tried it? Have you seen it? So again, th so this question is not the grammar we're looking at today. This is unit 11 grammar, okay? But um, again, you're continuing the conversation. So this is not really a, a grammar practice, but a strategy practice. Where have you been playing sports? Well, I usually go to the schoolyard. <laughs> Do you play any sports? Okay, so in this case, you are um, you're asking about their their activities, okay, their recent activities. The person answers the question and then turns it back to you, but turns back to the general topic. Okay, so have you been? Or do you play any sports? So enough of the specific information about me. How about some general information? Okay. That often happens in conversations where <laughs> the conversation stops. Okay. How long have you been doing homework? Well, I've been doing homework okay, for a period of time, since a point in time. Okay. So again, I, what, how about you? I'm changing the subject to you not me, you. Okay. So that's something you can try on your own. That's more of a strategy. I'm not going to give you, uh, this is an activity, but look this over and think about how you would uh, continue a conversation. Notice in these, the person answers the questions and then um, uh, changes the conversation, becomes more than an answerer, uh, starts asking questions. Okay, so it's more of a strategy than a grammar practice. Now, in this one, uh, how long have you been uh, doing homework? I've been doing homework, what's the next word? For? Since? Okay, we're going to try that out, okay, in the activity. So I'll practice activity here. Okay. Write for or since to complete each sentence. Okay, now look at the example. Pietro and Anna have been married for, what's this? 20 years. Okay, now if you know this already, uh, good for you, but many people do not. Uh, so I want you to learn, <laughs> there's no nothing to introduce you here. What you may have to do is go back to page 92 and 93, you see some examples here. Okay, so on page 92, I have been taking the class for three months. Okay. I've been working since the class started. Okay, or maybe here. Uh, it's been raining since we arrived. I've been working here since July. I've been living here for 20 years. Do you see a pattern? Okay, you should be able to see a pattern here. Okay, all right. So what I want you to do right now is go back to page 95 at the bottom and the self-practice activity there. Uh, you're going to fill in the blanks for each of the activities or each of the sentences. Okay? You have two choices for or since, okay? All right, I'll get, uh, pause the track when we're finished, we will review. All right, um, in the example, we have another example, for 20 years, okay? So when you do this, uh, you'll notice that for, and in the other examples on page 92 and 93, we see that we're using for with a period of time. Okay, so a period of time might take over a long period of time or maybe a short period of time. So four, the answer for number seven would be four. Okay. Uh, number three would also be four. Okay. Number five, the answer is four. Okay. All right. So in those examples, we're looking at periods of time. 30 minutes, seven days, three months, okay? That's a period of time. So four, 30 minutes, four a week, four, three months, okay? Most of the other answers should be since, okay? And since we use with a point in time, okay? 
So maybe this point in time, or maybe this longer period in time, but since then. She has had long hair since she was 16. Okay, I don't know if it was her 16th birthday or the day before she was 17, but since uh, that time, she's had long hair. I guess when she was 15, uh, she had short hair, but since she was 16, she's had long hair. Um, we have been happy since we bought our new house. Okay, before that, sad okay but in this point in time we bought the house uh since this period of time so for this period of time but since this point in time uh we have been happy uh i've been working at a restaurant since august okay he hasn't been able to walk since the accident okay, so again august is not really a point in time it's maybe a larger period since August um, and in September, October, November, uh, he has been working at the restaurant. Okay? He hasn't been able to walk since the accident. So the accident happened at this point in time. We've been wondering about you since we said goodbye. Okay? So at this point, we said goodbye. And since then, this whole period here, okay, we have been wondering about you. So again, for a period and since a point in time. Okay, so that should be the difference there. All right, let's continue on to the next page. All right, page 96, uh, we're going to start with this activity at the top of page 96. What you're going to do uh, is you're going to read about Paul. Right. Just take a moment and read through this uh, piece of writing. Uh, it's about Paul and the vacation that he took at this resort. Okay, here's a picture of the resort. Uh, good. All right. Uh, I guess he took a vacation in Colorado. Read this. Take a moment. Pause the track. Read this. And when we come back, I'm going to ask you some questions about the uh, about the vacation. Okay. All right. So again, Paul has been on vacation um, in Colorado. I'm going to ask you some questions about Paul and his current vacation. Okay. Question number one: Where has Paul been staying? Number two, how long has he been in Lake Aspen Resort? Three, what kind of time is he having? Number four, what has he been doing each afternoon? Number five, what has he been doing each evening? Question six, how has he been feeling? Seven, what has he been doing since he arrived at the resort? Question eight, how has the weather been? And question nine, what kind of vacation has this been for Paul? Okay, so question number one. Where has Paul been staying? the answer he has been staying at the lake aspen resort okay question two how long has he been at the lake aspen resort 
he has been there for five days or since five days ago now, question number three what kind of time is he having he is having a great time question four what has he been doing each afternoon okay so he has been skiing each afternoon what has he been doing each evening he has been dining out each evening question six how has he been feeling he has been feeling relaxed okay what has he been doing since he arrived at the resort okay he has been sleeping well since he arrived at the resort number eight how has the weather been the weather has been terrific and finally number nine what kind of vacation has this been for paul this vacation has been the best vacation of paul's life okay good okay so what you can do is you can if you like you could answer the same questions for Jane Jane also had a uh, vacation for her it was in Bali and there's a picture of Bali does it look nice well I don't know you better find out uh, for, so ask your partner partner can go to page 106 and find out about Jane she can your partner can answer questions about this okay otherwise you can go there and find out the answers yourself okay but all these questions are here uh, you can fill in the blanks and you can see that they're talking about an activity that started uh, for Paul five days ago okay and uh, is continuing right now okay so again something that started in the past and has continued uh, into the present okay all right that concludes uh your uh your lecture for uh unit 12 english 2. um that concludes the book next week we're going to have some review of your uh of the whole book okay so we'll do a review and uh, we'll see you next week